Hey, how you guys doing? Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Just a quick reminder, it goes for myself. Everything that I say and speak goes always for myself. Um, the Lord was telling me um, to remind me to treat others better. You know, sometimes I get a little bit prideful and sometimes I might take things in a bad attitude. So I need to check myself on that. But I, in the majority of the part, you know, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes and I do work on those. But there is some people that would try to irritate you and we're human if we break character. We're not, we don't cuss and fuss, but sometimes we need to put people in order, you know, accordingly unto the Holy Spirit, but we make mistakes though. But well, let's go back on it. Treat others the way we want to be treated. Thinking about others the way you ought to be thought, thought of. You know, we really got to think like that, my brothers. If they're not projecting the same type of energy and they're on, on, on a demonic frequency, it's better for us to stay away. Use our discernment and move accordingly. Feeling about others the way you want to be felt up. We got to think about other people's feelings, you know. The majority of the time, you know, we're with the, we're with the world, but we're not of the world. And the world will think on their selfish ways, you know, but we have to be better than that. And sometimes, my brother, no, not sometimes. It's always better to walk away because they will try to manipulate you and they will try for them to do their job for you. You know, we always want to put the best part, but people will take advantage of that. Just be mindful of that. And speaking about others, how you want to be spoken of. You know, the world usually speaks selfishness, speaks divisiveness, and speaks strife. We can't be acting like that. If, if, my other, if my brother and sister is being gaslighted or being murmured, it is better for you to walk away and don't be a partaker of that sin. I'm going to edify the Lord and I'm going to speak of the Lord's goodness. You know, sometimes... Work might get the best out of us. We're human, but the Holy Spirit will always guide us to apologize accordingly. When the Holy Spirit tells you to do it, we have to do it. And we have to watch our tone. Watch our tone. Sometimes our tone might get too aggressive, you know, but let's be pacifists. Let's speak to those with love. And for the majority of the times in my personal life, I do very good. But there has been levels where I break my character because some people are very irritating. You know, but no matter what, my brothers and sisters, we got to try our best. Because we are hold of a stature or whatever it could be. And we make mistakes, my brother. Whether When we make mistakes, they will try to bash us and crucify us. But the majority of the part, we all do great. And measure our words better. That is something that I have to work on better. You know, let's measure our words better. And ask the Holy Spirit to put the right loving words. We have to put people in their, pre in their place. Yes, we're believers. Yes, we're uh, some of, I really don't like to call myself a Christian. But we are believers of Christ, you know? But that doesn't mean because I'm a believer, I'm going to let, let you manipulate me. I'm going to let you walk all over me. And that is one thing that a lot of the Christians do. As soon as you don't agree with them, as soon as, as, soon as you don't, you, they hear something they don't like, they quick to use your faith, and they quick to manipulate scriptures, you know? But I got a scripture right here. John 13, 34, it says, A new commandment, that ye love one another as I love you, that ye also love one another. And sadly, not a lot of brothers and sisters are following these statutes and, co and commandments. It's a statue, a new commandment, that ye love one another. There is hardly any love. There is a lot of division in the body of Christ. There is a lot of, a house that is divided cannot stand. 
But how is that house going to stand? It stands within ourselves. As long as the Lord dwells, and where is that house in your heart? The roof don't make a house. You could live in the house, but still be homeless inside of your house. Why could you be homeless? Because you don't have the Lord inside your heart. Regardless when you make mistakes, regardless when you let your pride come in, in your way at times, regardless if your attitude or your tone comes in the way, but you still fear the Lord. The Lord is still in your heart no matter what. But hey, love one another. Treat one another better. In Jesus' name, uh...